Hello, Casper here from The Daily Drinker on the 21st of August 2014. I am about to taste the 2011 Pedro Jimenez uh, Elki from a producer called Vina Falernia, a Chilean producer. So we're in Chile, we're in the Elki Valley, uh, Pedro Jimenez, the great variety, uh, most famous of course for producing the sweetening agent uh, for sherry, all sherry being uh, vinified dry uh, and made undry, uh, i.e. sweetened with um, Pedro Jimenez must. Anyway, 2011, interested to taste it. I like this one, it's got a screw cap, it's um, fun, I thought it was fun but, but uh, you know, it kind of had a serious side, you know, basically I thought it was really good wine which is why I, I chose it and um, Smelling that now, it's almost got a slight sort of yeastiness about the nose, uh, which I don't find unattractive at all. And this sort of pear-y, slightly earthy fruit, just a touch high-toned, almost a touch, sort of acetone note about it uh, that, you know, is not, not unpleasant at all. I mean, the, the, the paleness of the colour suggests this is a wine that... Um, you know, is, is in fine condition for drinking. In fact, the nose adds to that. I think the acetone quality is just uh, perhaps um, something to do with the, the time it's been in bottle, because uh, I didn't notice that when I, certainly when I selected the wine. Gosh, and that's, and that's very nice. I mean, it's it's fresh, it's, it's clean, it's got that lovely pear fruit. Now I'm going to taste it. Mm. There's a core in the middle of this that's of quite serious structure. It's got a slightly earthy, almost slightly phenolic, and by phenolic I'm, I'm talking about tannins and other compounds uh, derived probably from the skin of the grapes. But it's, it's got this earthy, slightly firm core around which is this very, very nice sort of pear-y fruit, fresh, clean, It's, it's got this lovely fruit and then after you swallowed it, it becomes something much sort of drier and more focused and more structured and I, you know, would I sit happy, I'd be happy to sit around drinking this on, uh, on its own? I, th I think I'd probably prefer to drink this with some, some food, um, but you know, nothing, nothing dramatic, salads, that sort of thing, st still a very good wine, still a uh, charming to drink uh, um, and I'm enjoying it, yeah.